everybody, welcome back to TCS Dart Frogs. My name is Travis, and today I want to talk to you about dart frogs in Hawaii. So this year, me and my wife went on our honeymoon to Oahu, Hawaii. And when my wife first started talking about going to Hawaii, first of all, I was really excited because it's Hawaii and it's an amazing place to visit. They've got rainforest and all sorts of plants, and it's tropical, and they've got beautiful beaches and amazing food. So I was really excited about that. But I also thought about it, and there's actually an invasive species in Hawaii. Well, there's several invasive species in Hawaii, but one of them is Dendrobates aratus, which is the green and black dart frog. And as soon as I mentioned this to my wife, of course, she said, <laughs> you can't go on vacation without finding something to do with frogs, can you? And I said, no, not really. Because everywhere we go, I always want to try to find, you know, um, something frog related or animal related or visit some sort of a fish store or something like that which was kind of funny but anyway uh, that's not the point so dart frogs were actually released in Oahu Hawaii I believe in the 80s and the theory behind releasing them was that they would help keep down mosquito populations well after going to Hawaii and hiking through the rainforest to find these frogs uh, even in the the areas that they exist, they did not do anything for the mosquito populations. I absolutely got eaten up while I was in Hawaii looking for dart frogs. So the original reason that they got brought there really uh, didn't work at all. But they're stuck with them, they're there, they can't get rid of them, and so it's kind of cool that they exist there and that you can find them somewhere other than uh, Costa Rica and Panama and Nicaragua where they would naturally occur. Now that being said, I don't ever uh, condone, you know, letting go species in a area that they don't naturally come from. In other words, don't take your pets and let them loose where they don't belong. Um, this is a big problem around the world and uh, invasive species can cause a lot of problems. I don't know that the uh, the green and black dart frogs that are in Hawaii cause any problems there because uh, they're, they're a small frog, they eat bugs, they're not a predator, so they're not really having a huge impact on you know the other wildlife there, but they could affect something small like on a um, you know either bacterial or fungal level if they introduced some sort of a pathogen like that, so you, you never want to release stuff where it doesn't belong, so I just wanted to say that. but. Without further ado, let's go look at some footage of the rainforest and dart frogs. So uh, the green and black dart frog usually likes to hang around uh, bromeliads because there's water there, they can breed, but also in and around these uh, tree root buttresses, there's a lot of little uh, nooks and crannies for them to hide in. So that's a really great place to find them. And uh, the green and black dart frog occurs naturally in Costa Rica and Panama but uh, like I said they were introduced into Hawaii so you can also find them here as well um, and most of the ones you see here are the green and black variation as well as there are some green and bronze and one of the locals was telling me there are some green and blue ones here as well now but uh, the ones you find in uh, Panama and Costa Rica come in a wide variety of colors between brown and white, black and white uh, green and black, blue and black, so they're really variable uh, in their natural habitat and they do vary a little bit here as well just uh, from their genetics. So. I found one of these little green and black dart frogs, Dendrobates aratus. These were introduced here. Um, if you want to get a better view of him. Yeah, these were introduced to try to help uh, reduce the mosquito population here. So they're an invasive species, but they're all over the island. And they're really neat. And of course, since I'm into dart frogs, I had to come try to find some while I was here on my honeymoon. So uh, yeah, I'm going to let this little guy go, but I just wanted to catch him so that I could uh, get him on film and try to take some good pictures of him. And, and hopefully I'll find some more today. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> so this is where I found the first frog at the beginning of the hiking trail at Lion Arboretum. There were all these bromeliads and I peeked into one of the bromeliads and I was so overjoyed to find the first uh, frog of the day and it was a pretty good looking frog. I had to go back a couple times before I could finally get a shot of it and here's a pretty good picture of it. And as soon as I started hiking up the trail into the arboretum I started finding a few frogs here and there. This was a tiny little froglet that I found. Uh, could fit on top of a penny easily. Just a tiny little guy. The only reason I spotted him was because he was hopping across the trail. Here he is next to my hand to give you kind of a size reference. So this is some of the typical habitat that I found dart frogs in while I was in Hawaii. Anywhere around these tree roots and anywhere where there was leaf litter and bromeliads, I seem to have luck finding uh, either dart frogs or in the bromeliads and such. I would find a few tadpoles here and there. Some of the trees over there were just awesome and the overall landscape was amazing. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a like, and please subscribe to this channel. I just wanted to thank all you guys for watching, and I hope you guys learned something in this video. If nothing else, you learned that uh, dart frogs live in Hawaii, but if you guys want to check out any of my social media, I'll leave all the links in the description, and if you guys want to check out my website, it's tcsdartfrogs.com. Also, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, let me know and I'll try to answer any of those questions and make those videos if possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day.